All right, so you probably clicked on this video because you want to know how to stick a controller onto your foot and have it really stick on there, like not coming off, right? First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you my method that I have brilliantly come up with, this scuffed method to stick this controller on your leg. Also, I have, so I have three. I have three controllers. Story behind that, right? I've got labeled left, right, and then don't have any label here because it's my waist. So when I first got the HTC Vive, uh, two controllers, obviously, but mayhaps I hit it against the wall one too many times, maybe stepped on it once, and both of the grips broke. Devastating. So the plan was you're going to send off one of these controllers and buy a new, another one so we can still play the games because it's probably going to take like several months to get it fixed. And so we did, we, we got a new one, got a new one. We ended up only buying one instead of sending it off because uh, we saw that the knuckles or index controllers were coming out and we we're like, we got to have that. So we don't actually um, have more than one working grip button for the HTC Vive controllers, which worked out perfectly if you want to turn these useless piece of junks into trackers. The first thing that you as a consumer might want to do is try to find one of these bad boys. They are dongles. You have to get one for each controller. So if you have two controllers, you only get two dongles. I actually got mine from a third party source, so it looks even more scuffed than if you were to get it from the official place. And I got it from a third party source because the official place to get them, they were sold out for months. And as soon as I got them, as soon as they were shipping, these third party ones were shipping, they are cheaper, they are cheaper. But then the normal ones went on sale and then it's fine, it's fine, it's whatever. It's whatever, it's fine. So we're gonna lay these out. Show you how I set my stuff up first. Then after that, I'm gonna show you my whole scuffed tape setup. We have these belt trackers. So I actually did buy these Velcro uh, Velcro straps for the trackers. You don't need these. You could just use belts, I guess. Um, I'm using a combination of these and belts. Uh, so I'll separate those now. All right, now that we have these sorted out for the most part, for this later, I'll show you my technique. We'll start with the, the, the right leg. And you do wanna eventually label these because certain games, uh, like VR chat, it doesn't matter. But for things like Blade and Sorcery, it does matter which controller is which. Uh, you'll have to go into the settings and specifically say this, this controller is the left one, this controller is the right one, this controller is waist and all that. Okay, so the right foot, I'm gonna take one of these straps. I want to have this uh, metal part, if you're using this, you want to use, use this strap, you're going to put this metal part on the outside of your foot. Under, so underneath your foot, have this on the outside, through there, bam, boom. Take this, your piece, I mean your controller, stick that through there, pull this through, pull the strap through, have this line up with your toe, and then put this on. The number one thing when putting on your uh, trackers, number one thing is comfort. The number two thing is having it symmetrical on each foot. But number one is comfort. You all, you gotta have it comfortable. You cannot have these long hours playing VR chat, these long hours playing whatever game. It has to be comfortable. So now you, use, now you have that on. Take one of your belt straps. I think these belts are amazing for this because they're made of fabric, but they got a, like a small little uh, metal piece that just works like magic. So, metal piece on that side. Like, okay, so you want to have the controller facing up, well, the trigger part facing up, and the sensor bit on the outside of your foot. Put the end of the belt through the hole, and then go and Put the end of this belt underneath the inside, uh, yeah, underneath the inside of the strap like so. And 
right? You want to fold this back, put it underneath your shoe. You have to be wearing shoes with this, right? If you don't have shoes on by now, get shoes <laughs> and get uh, longer socks maybe. It's just it's for comfort. You cannot be wearing my setup without shoes. It's impossible. So, and then you want to go and put back through this hole and don't go around this way. Go around in the front of your foot. Don't go in the back, go on your front, the front of the foot and go back and through this metal hole right there, metal hole. And then go back. I mean, this is if you're using these, this type of belt. I don't know what you're using, if you're using a leather belt or whatever, just whatever method works best for you. I think these belts, however, are the best way to go. Maybe you're using a rope, I don't know. Wrap this around and then sometimes I tuck in the sock, sometimes I tuck underneath the belt. For now, I'm gonna tuck underneath the belt. Um, sometimes I go underneath, I'll go underneath the belt. All right. Now we have it on. Look at, look at this. Bam, bam, bam. That's a strong controller on your foot. That's pretty strong. That's not going to go anywhere, 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 right? I've engineered this. Engineered to be sturdy and awesome. You can do the exact same thing on the other side. Um, let's quickly go over that. So look, this underneath your foot, have the metal part on the outside. Uh, like that, bam, bam, okay. You wanna have it equal? You wanna have it equal? Comfortable, this is comfortable right now. So I have this, the tracker part on the outside of your foot. Slide this through, put that, put this strap around that like that. Take this belt, I'm a speed run now, speed run. Take this through here, underneath here. Back, under, through the hole again. And then go back through the metal bit. You can't see it on this foot because it's behind my leg, but through the metal bit. So wrap around, wrap underneath. Bam, look at that. Two controllers on my foot. I've seen other people do this um, where they'll have the controller on their leg. I don't like that. I like having precise foot tracking capabilities. Um, and they just, they feel nice in your feet. Um, it's not burden, burdensome. Kick around, you know, in, um, in sorcery, blade and sorcery, and kick people and cut off their heads and then drop, kick their, their heads. I don't know. Okay. And then now, I mean, most people will not have a third controller laying about. Um, I think I'm very unique in that, but I'm sure there's some people out there wondering how to put a, a controller around their waist, okay? So this is this part is for them. If you only have two controllers, then there are several videos which I will put in the description that go over how to set up a, 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 a virtual third tracker position point, whatever it's called. So yeah, it's a lot easier, you can, do this method and put all the belts through a belt loop. Um, if you're wearing pants that already require, or shorts that already require uh, like some sort of belt, or whatever, I would go with that method, putting all the belts through that. But um, if it's one, it takes a lot longer. And two, currently I'm not wearing those shorts because I did not want to do that. Um, and so you you're putting it around Whatever you have, is, it totally works out. It, I've never had a situation where it slips off at all, so it's all good. So yeah, so first thing you wanna do, if you have this elastic belt, you once again, you don't need this belt, but you do need two belts. But yeah, you don't wanna have your shirt over the controller because that just completely blocks it, obviously, right? So for the sake of this video, I will do it in the front. Controller, stick like that. Kind of the same thing, we put the strap around there, tighten it there, have it at like an angle like this. Oh yeah, you wanna, wanna tighten this, make it nice and sturdy and tight. This works perfectly when you have a belt on, but I currently don't have a belt on. 
and I thought it worked well without a belt, but I'm learning now that it does not work well without a belt. So, hey, would you look at, look at it, it was working. All right, so all you need to do, put it through there, put the thing on the thing like I've been doing, and then take your belt, go through the sensor hole, uh, stick it in my pocket for now, go through here, and then just underneath here, and then pull that tight, um, put it through the belt loop, pull that, and there you go. Adjust it so that the belt is not on the trigger, because I don't know if that's going to break or not, it just, uh, it doesn't feel like it's, it's right. And then there, look at that, look at that, you got a, a belt, uh, a controller on your waist. Look at that, that's awesome. It can be on your back too, you know, it could be anything, it could do anything you want. All right, so it has been several months since I have started making this video, and my hair has grown. I have a little bit of facial hair now, painted nails. Um, my setup has changed a little bit. Uh, see, if, see kind of here. So I completely got rid of the elastic belt that comes with the tracker stuff, right? And just replaced it with another one of these amazing fabric belts. Uh, these are great for this uh, what a, this project. Having the belt loops too. This really makes it solid and sound. And, uh, yeah, it works out a lot better than what I originally did in the video. And also, my shoes, right? The only thing I have changed with this is uh, I folded over the socks because I find it is a lot more secure than uh, when it's not folded. And that's basically the extent of change with that. So now that we have this gaming setup, this scuffed gaming setup, we're going to do something else. When it's, uh, it's something small, you know, I'm just going to show you around and I'm going to show you my dongle setup. Now you may ask yourself, wow, that took a really long time. Why did it take so long to get in your VR setup? Well, that's because I, it takes, it really <laughs> takes me a long time to get in my VR setup every time. So this is my dongle, right? You got a big dongle right here that holds more dongles. So I got a dongle here. Got a dongle here, and we got a dongle here. I made this little flap too, to make sure that the dust doesn't get in it when I have these dongles out, when I'm not using the dongles. You know, I want this to be sturdy, not fall off. So we have a bunch of painter's tape. I could use uh, duct tape like I used here, because you know, HTC Vive, you have to have this little, this doodad right here. But yeah, we got my whole dongle set up here. <laughs> And I'm running my whole VR off of my laptop, off of my gaming laptop. And this fan, it's a finger chopper. It's a finger chopping fan. I can get my hands real in there. <laughs> it goes really fast. Like, this is one of the fastest fans that I own. All right, let's turn this bad boy on. Yeah, this is like, I don't know what year this is from, but it's my great-grandfather's great fan. It's really old. And I've got it cooling down my gaming laptop on a cookie tray. It's as scuffed as it gets. Anyway, that's all for now. I'm glad I got to show you my amazingly scuffed setup. I'll now uh, show you me repairing my base station, uh, as well as showing a little bit uh, of two life hacks that I have. Um, they're really scuffed, but they make my life so much easier. You're going to like it, okay? Anyway, catch you all next time.